Hello, how is it going? Today we will look at the make trans string method. Now, the make trans method returns a mapping table for translation, which is oftentimes used along with the translate method. Now, this is how the syntax looks like. The method can take up to three parameters. Now, if only one parameter is supplied, it must be a dictionary, and this dictionary should contain one to one mapping for a single character string to its translation. Now, if two parameters are um, specified, both of them must be uh, strings of equal L length. Now, each character in the first string is a replacement to its corresponding index in the second string. Now, if the three parameters are specified and the first two parameters are the same as before and the last parameter or the each character of this uh, last parameter is mapped to none. We're going to see in the examples below what this means. Okay, so the method will return a table uh, with one-to-one -one mapping of a Unicode ordinals to its translation. Okay, so let's look at some examples. Now in the first example, we are going to um, pass only one argument. So in this case, it must be a dictionary. And this dictionary contain a mapping of character A to a character in it and its ordinal value of 65 to character B and its ordinal value of 66 and uh, character D of ordinal value of 68. Now, if you run this example, we are going to create a mapping table and these uh, key values are basically the ordinal values of these first uh, characters or of the character A, character B and character D. Now, if we run the translate method on the string, this is the string that we're specifying, and the method uh, should return a uppercase characters because the ordinal value of 65 is basically capital A, A and um, ordinal value of capital B is 66. Now, if we don't want to use the ordinal values, we can simply just uh, pass capital characters like so. And if you rerun this method, we can see that uh, the result is the same. Now, in the second example, if you don't want to bother with creating a dictionary, we can simply uh, supply uh, two strings of equal length. Now, the mapping works that we are mapping the first character of the first string to a first character in the second string. A uh, second character of the first string to a second character of the second string and so on and so forth. Now when we create the translation table with the make trans method okay and um, run the trans translate method on it we can see that um, all these characters uh, as long as they are specified in the translate method has been converted to um, character specified in the second string. Now in this last example, we are going to supply a third string as well. And so basically, we're, first we are going to create a table with um, mapping first character of the first string, the first character of the second string, and so on. And then uh, for all the characters that are supplied in this uh, third string, we are going to basically map them to none. So we're going to see how the mapping actually looks like. Now, uh, remember that the ordinary value of the A is 97, the ordinary value of B is 98, uh, ordinary value of C is 99, and ordinary value of D is 100. And so basically, all of these values have been first uh, mapped to these. But since we specified in the third string that we want to map A, to none, D to none, and, and B and D to none. The only character left is basically the character C, which we map to F. And so when we run the translate method on the string, uh, the method will return only F, because all of these uh, characters uh, have been specified uh, to be set as none. Okay, so this is the translate and the make trans method and that's very much it. So thank you for watching.